Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest, a village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, a mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassem feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I'll take care of this. All right there? Yes. <clears throat> Hello. I do not mean to intrude, but I'm looking for someone. And who would that be, then? I... Uh, I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here, if you like. Thank you. Your soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do. I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter? Do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember... You even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I've traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this, the key to my study, that you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea, one to take its place, a universal divine order, inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England, whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You're the last of her kings, and yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored, nor resisted. 
In time, all those who accept God will flourish, and all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Eivor, good to see you. I am, uh, uh, did you want something, or? I was wondering. What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunner, to see you so happy has been a pleasure. And to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need. And Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As y'all, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I'll bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see we did carry to Gana. Do never am Lucas would be the daughter he to tea and Harriet. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. He'd be the prodigy on future and he, a distort howloch in hope, a premonition. And the mount of scrying a foresight, paratoivi, a sweeping adventure, meeting tea. Your enoid Valdemarash, a dean as strong, a buratiki, a quell as a fierce, but calon, and head bunter at tea. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let us head bun Evan Gillig, Trevoid and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of feed and myth. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> We 
With our couple now bonded in matrimony. Now we drink. Ranvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see Grafold Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so. But it is not the love of a wife and her husband. It was not an easy decision. But after we talked with honesty, we embraced more warmly than we have in a great while. I think we will be happy. I hope so. And I am pleased for you. I am pleased for myself. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. And what about you? What are you looking for? I have all I need right here. With you. With our people. I want to say, Ranvi, I love you, and I have for some time. I did not pursue it, not wanting to betray my brother's trust. That does not mean I did not desire it. Does that surprise you? Gods, I worried you saw me as a woman starved for the affection of her husband. That it was loneliness driving me. But it was you, Eivor. Only you. Everything you are, everything you will become. Ranvi. Without you, I would have lost my way a thousand times. I never told him outright, but I doubt he will be surprised. I think he may have suspected it even, some time ago. If he suspected it, he never said anything. He is more observant than I often give him credit for. I believe he sees us as we are, and as we hope to be. We can wait to tell him. Give it a few days, when the feasting is over and everything is settled. Agreed. I've waited long enough for you, and you for me. What is another few days? The blink of an eye. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Glauwechestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> 